is WordPress the right platform for you to build your online business on? I'm going to be breaking down some of the pros, cons, and give you some insights about the good things and bad things that you can expect from WordPress. Let's dive in. First things first, let me get this straight out of the way. Yes, I can probably see some of you already commenting on this. Yes, we are a business that builds conversion-focused plugins for WordPress inside our suite of plugins, which you can learn more about by clicking the link down in the description box. We offer a visual page builder, a WordPress theme builder, a quiz builder, and many other tools that will allow you to build a successful and scalable business on WordPress. But just because we build tools for WordPress, that doesn't mean that I can't give an objective opinion on whether you should build your business on WordPress or elsewhere. In fact, probably quite the contrary, since I have been working inside the WordPress space for almost a decade now, I can probably tell you firsthand whether if it's a good fit or if it's not a good solution for you. With that said, let's get started. WordPress is a content management system, okay? It was built with the purpose of empowering individuals and businesses to create and manage websites with ease and efficiency. Now, I have to say WordPress in it of itself has always been an open source solution. That means that it's been accessible to anyone for free. Yes, you've still had to incur in some basic and essential costs, such as your domain name, a hosting service, and so forth and so on. But the technology that makes WordPress real and you know that gives you the opportunity to build a website has always been free. And historically speaking, this has always had its good things and bad things, at least in my opinion. The good thing is that since it's an open source project, you could build and scale an online business without worrying whether the underlying business that you're relying on could go under. And you know, this is something that you should be aware of. If you're building your business on top of something like Shopify or Webflow or Squarespace, your business is dependent on whether these other companies uh, you know, can continue to make money. The bad thing is that I've always been a little bit reluctant with the overall general speed of WordPress development. I feel like in the time span of 20 years, yes, it has evolved and yes, it's gotten better and faster, but it has fallen behind compared to the rhythm of development and innovation that some other private companies have been showing off in comparison. You know, most WordPress users have had to rely on third party companies like us to be able to take their WordPress sites to the next level. Now, again, that's not to say that it hasn't changed. In fact, I'm going to be dropping a link in the description box down below to an article by WP Beginner that shows off the evolution of WordPress and how it's changed over time. It's a really interesting article in case you wanna check it out. And I do wanna give the WordPress organization some more credit these days because in the last year and a half or so, they have drastically stepped up their game. Now let's change gears and talk a little bit about what types of businesses you can build on WordPress. And to answer this question, I think it's best if I give you a quick run through of some example websites that are powered by WordPress today. The first one is louisekennedy.com. This is a gorgeous website. It uses WooCommerce as its e-commerce solution. And to be honest, it's a relatively simple website to build with something like Thrive Suite. Popular podcaster Russell Brandt, who has a very much personal brand-oriented website, is also powering his site with WordPress. One of the most popular magazines of this century, The Rolling Stone, uses WordPress to power its media outlet. And so does the biggest moat in the entertainment industry, the Walt Disney Company. Their company site is powered by WordPress, although I have to say it could use a little bit of a spruce up. And even Snoop Dogg, the man himself, is also using WordPress to power his own website. And I have to say, while I personally don't follow his work, his site is pretty cool. I mean, I particularly love this bottom ribbon that lets you play his most recent release on Spotify. This is something that you too could build using a tool like Thrive Leads. And I could literally be here the rest of my life showing off examples of big sites that are powered by WordPress, because the truth is 43% of the internet today is built on WordPress. I mean, you really truly can build almost any kind of website on WordPress. If you take the content management system that WordPress has to offer and you pair it with a powerful add-on like Thrive Suite, you're going to be able to build e-commerce stores, consulting websites, online universities and coaching programs, membership sites like you know the Rolling Stone or the New York Times, which by the way, you can see me building if you click on the card popping up on screen here. And you, know, you, you can just build pretty much anything that you can think of. 
And another pro that should be mentioned is that it's relatively cheap to build your online business on WordPress. Thrive Suite starts at $2.99 on your first year, which if you break it up into 12 months, that's 25 bucks a month. Add in a $20 a year expense for your domain and add in $20 to $30 a month for hosting and you're looking at a $50 a month expense, give or take. $50 a month to start an online business that you're going to be able to scale as much as you want is a sweet deal if you ask me. Now, who is WordPress not meant for? Look, in the almost a decade of experience that I have, there have been two types of profiles that I would have a hard time recommending WordPress to. The first one is someone looking to build a website like this one. This type of website where you essentially have an immersive experience happening on screen, while no one can deny that it's super cool, it's just not something that you're going to want to build on WordPress. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if this project spent a million dollars on this website. If you're a programmer looking to build immersive experiences without needing to hire other programmers to work with you, or perhaps you simply want to be able to build websites without writing all of the code yourself because you want to get them done faster, then you're probably better off using something like Webflow. Now, you do have to be aware that while you may have some more advanced customization options available for you out of the box, the learning curve is obviously going to be much higher. The second type of users that I would recommend not using WordPress is established businesses looking to build an online store with a lot of stock and in inventory. I would typically just refer them over to Shopify because it's a much easier and intuitive place for you to manage an online store with hundreds of different products in it. But what do I mean with an online store with a lot of stock and inventory? Well, I'm thinking of stores like, like Walmart, like Target, like Macy's, you know, these businesses deal with so much product and so much stock and inventory that you really want to make your life as easy as possible to be able to manage the, you know, the complexities of running a store like that. For the most part, if you're dealing with a store with less than 50 products, I would probably still go with WordPress and use a combo of you know, WooCommerce and Thrive Suite. Nothing beats this combo, in my opinion, because since you don't have that many products, you should be able to manage your store with WooCommerce without any issues. Plus, being able to design your website and the front end of your store using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder is going to give you more creative freedom to tell your story however you want, as opposed to just using a third-party Shopify theme that is not going to give you a whole lot of room to customize the appearance of your store. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you to decide whether WordPress is a good platform for you or not. Overall, I have to say, you know, WordPress is really well suited for anyone these days. I typically have a hard time coming across someone who is looking to start an online business from scratch who couldn't benefit from using WordPress. There's a link in the description box that you can click on. It's gonna take you to our website where you can learn more about how Thrive Suite can help you get your WordPress website set up in no time. I truly appreciate your time and I will see you soon. Thank you, bye.